Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, we we'll keep going on CRM and I've actually kind of gotten a little bit lost in CRM because uh, I do like the system. I like the CRM system inside NAV. I know we have options. We can go into uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM and other CRM systems. But one of the good things about CRM in NAV is that it's very close to the inventory. So right now here, I'm logged in as a sales relationship manager and I can go straight into the item list and the item list is going to show me inventory real time. There's not going to be any issues. Uh, if we're in a different system, synchronizing inventory and creating orders uh, and assigning them um, to lot numbers and stuff like that, it's just not going to be that easy. So um, yeah, CRM and NAV is pretty cool. Now we were talking before about tasks and tasks are great. Um, but like here, I'm on the role center and yeah, I can't see my tasks and I don't know why Microsoft didn't put the tasks right here. I'm a salesperson. I work by task. I should see like tiles regarding tasks, etc. But okay, hey, let's fix that. We, we don't really have to do any programming to get our tasks uh, somewhere close to here. Uh, if I go into salespeople, for example, and this I've shown in a video, I can go into Peter Sato. That's I'm pretending to be Peter today. So uh, bear with me. Uh, and if I just go into navigate here and into tasks, I can see the tasks for Peter Sato, right? So I would like to see this list, the task list, um, actually on my role center. And we can do that. All I have to do is go in here and save view. And I'm going to call it uh, Peter's tasks, like so. Uh, and then I just go out of here. And now I have Peter's tasks right here. Now, you know how to save view. So if you save a view somewhere in the system, it actually comes up here on the side. If I click on here, I got my tasks, right? So great. I got my tasks onto the main menu. Uh, and now I can keep on like checking off the tasks that I have. Now let's, uh, let's get a little bit more into tasks. How do I actually complete a task? So it's, Another interesting thing, it would be really nice to have a button up here, say complete task or something like that. But no, we don't have that. Um, but if we go into edit, uh, we actually complete here by say completed by. And yeah, OK, it makes sense. It might not be you always who completes it. Uh, I think still having a button saying I completed it uh, up on top is probably easier. Um, and with some development, not much. We can add that. But you can also put in here who completed it. So I can say, well, Bart really did this. OK, and we close the task. Yes, uh, we can in the register an interaction log entry for that. Sure. Um, and I can actually go through that. I'll just cancel on this one. Yes. Um, let me see, this one doesn't want to go. So let's let's pick somebody here just to get this window out of the way. Law firm. What do we do? We sent them an email and that's it. Happy with that. Okay, so we close this. Another thing that's kind of cool with these tasks is they can be assigned to teams. Um, so that's pretty hard to do with an Outlook task, for example. Uh, but here you can actually have team tasks and, and those are very nice. They're of course connected to opportunities which is great. They're connected to contacts within your system, which is great, which you can create sales orders out of, right? Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing that's kind of interesting, we talked about activities uh, in the last video I did about tasks and I'm, <laughs> I'm really diving uh, deep on these task things, which is cool. Um, I can assign activities here. Now, what am I doing here? Remember activities uh, in the sales cycles, they are actually um, a code that holds tasks. Yeah, you know, it's a group of tasks. So if I go here, I can actually select an activity code like uh, understanding needs. Uh, let's say we're starting that today and I could have it part of a campaign or not. 
and do something like that. And then I actually have added uh, a bunch of activities which came from understanding needs. Remember, if I go here into activities, activity code, advanced, uh, and view, you can see that we have a bunch of activity uh, tasks assigned to the activity codes. So this is, you know, it's really good because you might have an activity you want to do, like make a presentation, but behind that activity, of course, are a lot of tasks. And you don't want to delineate all the specific tasks as, as activities. So you just say, we're going to make a presentation, and that automatically gets the tasks out there. And you can then possibly assign them to different people. So that, I think, is a really good idea. Um, again, with Outlook tasks, for example, that's not that clear how to do that. So, um, of course, you can make a phone call straight out of the system and uh, things like that. Another interesting thing is, uh, I don't know why it shows up with one here. There might be a translation error, but I think that's a meeting. And But you can actually schedule a meeting. So, this normally would show meeting, uh, but I think it might be a bug. If I click on schedule a meeting, I get this window here. Here I can actually schedule a meeting just like in Outlook. Uh, and I can add an attachment, send out the invitations. And of course, you're thinking, oh, okay, that's going to synchronize with Outlook. Yes, it's synchronizing with Outlook. And actually, all of these tasks here will synchronize with Outlook as well. And I was going to jump on that in the next video. But, you know, hey, um, the CRM in NAV is not that bad. It actually has a lot of very interesting uh, features. So that's the reason why I'm still hanging on to this uh, topic and diving deeper. So we got Peter's task here. I can uh, close off my tasks, etc., etc. So, hey, I'm getting closer to a workable system. So if you like this, thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Until later.